switch? For adventure. For this. See why people are switching to Chevy. I'm never switching back. Drive yours away this President's Day. Current competitive owners get $5,000 total cash allowance on most Equinox models. Find new roads at your local Chevy dealer. Now, ABC 7 News at 11. On your side, we begin with a breaking news alert. Breaking news first at 11. An officer involved shooting in Loudoun County. Virginia State Police say troopers tried to pull over a car on I-66 near Route 50, but the driver took off and crashed in Sterling. At this time, it's not clear why, but state police fired a shot. We're told the driver was flown to the hospital. He has serious injuries. No officers were hurt. Now, South Sterling Boulevard near Route 28 is still shut down in both direction as the investigation continues. We, of course, will stay on top of this breaking news and bring you updates as we get them. Now to the other big story that everybody seems to be talking about and concerned about, the coronavirus outbreak and concerns here in the United States. Cases continue to rise around the world, and new tonight, a whistleblower's claims revealed. That whistleblower at the Department of Health and Human Services is now asking for federal protection. They claim... Healthcare workers who helped the first Americans evacuated from Wuhan, China, weren't properly trained and may have been put at risk. But officials are fighting back against that claim. I can say unequivocally that everyone involved with those evacuations was appropriately equipped and trained. Whistleblower also says workers didn't have the right protective gear for infection control. In the meantime, here in the DMV, we are awaiting several coronavirus test results. There are two possible cases in Virginia and two more in Maryland. Governor Larry Hogan planning to hold a full cabinet meeting tomorrow to discuss the state's response. He is promising $10 million in emergency funds to get ready. I want to assure Marylanders that our state is taking every precaution when it comes to the coronavirus. We want our citizens to know that all levels of government are working together proactively and taking every possible precaution to respond to potential threats of public health. Fears over the virus sending or, or spreading uh, is sending Wall Street into a downward spiral again. This was a horrible day. Today, the Dow dropping off nearly 1,200 points. The plunge happens to be the worst single loss in the Dow's history in one day. And it's the stock market's worst loss since the 2008 financial crisis. A lot of uncertainty, and Wall Street hates it. The CDC now is telling Americans to be prepared, and masks have been in high demand, if not sold out. But experts, they warn that they won't protect healthy people from getting the virus, and it may not even be the right type of mask. Here's ABC 7's Jay Korf with this 7 on your side health alert. You're about to hear from Charles Johnson. His trade association represents the very manufacturers who make the protective gear, like masks, that are in such high demand right now. This trade association is working directly with government leaders who are taking on this global crisis. What we're really concerned about right now is preparedness. We have not seen a widespread outbreak uh, in the continental United States. Uh, the cases that we have seen have been contained. Johnson wants to stress two very important points. The first, healthy people do not need to wear masks right now. The second, his industry is focused on getting the right supplies to the right people. So at the front of the line, people caring for the sick, travel officials, and healthcare workers. The industry is doing is that they, they are focusing on critical medical partners at this time and others that have long-standing uh, relationships with people that we, with institutions that we know are responding to the crisis. The industry uh, has increased supply uh, and done everything that they can to meet the increased demand that we're seeing during this outbreak. It's also important to note that even if you have an N95 respirator, using it properly is as important or more important than just having the technology. It would be irresponsible for me not to note right now that the CDC is not recommending that the general public wear either of these masks. So what Johnson is imploring is for members of the public who are healthy to not buy masks because that prevents people who really need them from getting them. And the only reason to use a mask is if you are on the front lines of this crisis or that you are infected and quarantined. So, Jay, we know a lot of people were turning to these masks because they feel kind of helpless in the city.